Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Yeah, it's a windy day. Been a long time too. Had to get myself familiarized with the shop. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Well, basically you notice the tachometer ain't working and I ain't got the rest set up, so that's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Anyway, this I've seen this jumping up around 10 amps and stuff, doing pretty good. Battery voltage is about 13.15. Wind speed right now is doing about 5, yeah, up to about 12. Oh, looks like it said 20 there, but I haven't seen that for a while. Anyway, we're doing pretty good. The anemometer's up there, not over with the prop, which would be over in that direction. Well, if we look right here, this one got a nice chip out of it. Yep, the wood was twisted. When it started getting thin, this edge came up and caught the, uh, the skill saw carbon bit. And so I didn't even get to start on the other side. Not good. That's the other piece of 2x4 that came off it. The thing I don't like about this wood, you see, it used to be you could put a dent in it with your fingernail. Now you can just peel it off. This is like cork. They grow these trees fast. The old wood, this is one of the reasons why people like antiques, the old wood took a lot longer to grow. And these uh, dark lines, these dark lines like where my thumbnail is are getting much thinner and it's a lot more more white wood in there. Not much, not very good. You can see it here in scale a lot better. You see how thin this still looks thin here and then all that. And you can even see the lines. I can scrape that stuff off. It's no good. It makes a really bad surface on the car. So anyway I went to cedar, which changed things. All right, here I got these railroad batteries running my drill. They usually powered up by the solar. And I've got that long cord running all the way over here and up. Any of these old power tools that do 12 volts and such, nah. You don't need to throw them away. There we go. Couple drywall screws inside to the terminals that you can't see inside there that connect to the battery. This old 12 volt, they don't even make them anymore. Yeah, the charger was blown out on this one. The batteries were okay. I got this from Boom Boom as a present. Works great down here. Does all my work. Drill my holes in the end of the cedar. And I come down here and I do a little cutting so I can get it low so it passes the edge of the table here. Uh, after it starts carving down, it can actually go by and not hit the bolts. So anyway, but this is cedar. Oh my goodness, look at that wood. Let's back up a little bit, get into some more light right here. This is a lot better wood. It's rough. The thing is about this cedar, it changes things. If I put this flush to the back side, you see we got a little bit more wood up here in the front. And the same thing, I've got about that much more wood rather than being up to here. Drops about that much. That's because the 2x4s are finished, the cedar is not. People like rough cedar. That's okay. Measures a little bit bigger. In order to get the full angle of 22 and a half degrees uh, all the way from end to end, I had to change a little bit. Now this machine is not running off that cable that went up to the top. It runs on here and runs down this jig, which you see right here. Kind of floats back and forth. And I got a piece of, I got old Texas license plate right there pressing up against it so it doesn't move. If I have to, if it comes down and leaves, it comes like this, it comes back up and hits it right where it's supposed to and stays in line. So that keeps it from falling out of the groove. Now I'm going to get to carbon on here and I'll show you when I get done with the first side how much better it looks. Oh well, yeah, one more thing. Uh, when you're dealing with this, you want to make sure it's well ventilated. Here, the top up there, going over to the other two uh, storages, it's nothing but this 8 inch by 8 inch hold or 10 inch by 10 inch chicken wire type stuff from that plywood up to the ceiling. So it's got a lot of flow and the other ones aren't sealed either. So I get a breeze through here and the door is open. Dust mask will help. But here's what I'm talking about. You see all these long sticks. These uh, pieces, this is the way those, when it's with that soft wood and the dark wood, this is the way it comes up. It doesn't look like regular sawdust anymore. Here's that piece that came off that prop. We'll get it. Junk. Junk wood. They don't sell good wood anymore. Can't stand it. All these... That ain't sawdust. It burns. Goes in my wood stove tonight. After I sift out the regular sawdust for cooking. 
And got me some new clamps right here. They work all right. They're not the best, not like my other ones, but they don't go all the way to the floor and they're quick. You just squeeze them and then press the button. Not that bad. So anyway, I'm going to get busy here. I got the uh, generator outside already and clean off a little of this bench. Some of these tools will be a little safer here. I'll get back at you and show you my carbons. There we go, starting to get a little bit of gust coming, usually about three or four in a row here. That's why last time I picked up the camera, it was probably about the fourth little gust. It just started coming down. It's staying there pretty good. Top of that scale compresses. Looking at 14, 13, 9, 14 again. It means that dump load will be jumping up here in a second. Another gust. That ought to do it right there. No, didn't stay there for five seconds. Give one more shot here. Come on, get up there. There we go. Oops. And the dump load's on. I gotta love it. I just finished up. Look at the quality of this sawdust. I'm saying that cedar is so much better. I mean, there's a couple pieces. I don't know if that's left over from the pine. <laughs> there's one. That's probably from the pine. I didn't clean it out. But this is much nicer. And looky right here. You see that shiny spot? Let's move around with it. Yeah. Some of this actually shines. Here's some more shiny. Looking nice. Nice and smooth. None of that. Yeah, you can still dig your fingernail in, but you're not gonna dig up you're not gonna dig up any wood. And the cool thing about cedar, I got a little bit right there, because that's really thin. A lot of vibration from that blade. But the cool thing about cedar, and you can find this out on other otherpower.com when they talk about if you read it extensively, like I did in my early years, great source of uh, a great source of information and learning and inspiration. That's where I was inspired to do this and learned it. Oh yeah, look at all this, man. Yeah, you see the white stuff that that's from the pine underneath. But what's on top? Let me raise this up. What do we got here? Man, that's super fine. Yeah, got the pine under. Oh, I wasn't even looking at it. Man, that's super fine. Here's a piece. Yeah, much better. And the prop looks much better for it. And there's a little piece. Not bad. None of these uh, huge pieces and a whole bunch of it where most of it's... There's a look at the other stuff. My goodness. Yeah, this is coming out real nice. I find out that in the knots, you don't want much knots in cedar because they usually got holes through them because they break up like this. And I did this, and st I, I, I did this. I backed off, let it air out, backed off. When I started smelling it again, I back, backed off. I guess that'll keep my blade sharper longer, cooler. So, yeah, it's been real easy. It carved pretty quick. So, yeah, I'm liking it a lot better. 70 years if you hit it with some boiled linseed oil, according to otherpower.com. Dan Bartman and Dan Fink. God bless them guys. My inspiration when I first started out. Oops, oh yeah. I moved that, didn't I? Day. Inspiration for this? It's mud man's lazy. <laughs> but it works, and it works nice, it does a good job. Well, I thank you. Oh, look at them shiny spots. One, two, three, three watt LEDs. Using nine watts, lots of light. Worked real good. Think about them, they're about 11 bucks a piece. Let's see, Ryan Abrams told me that the, uh, the car bulbs, two of them in a package for right about 12, 13 dollars. Or 15, still wouldn't be bad. It's not bad. They say 45 watts so worth of lumens on them. Basically, you're still used about three, maybe four watts. Not bad. So I got one, two, three, nine watts on a 12 volt battery. I'm still under one amp by far. Lasts a long time. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Sure looks like the wind died down out here. And the wind turbine still burning. Look at that blue in the sky. That is a beautiful blue. You take care. And have a ball. Look at it right here. It's kind of kind of thin and low. 
and it slowly tapers up got a little bit of a spot right here uh, that's in the wood that's not from the cutting and then it comes up tapers up abruptly a little bit more got a little bit of a spot right here then, oh yeah nice I have to carve it down to right about there that allows the uh, table to slide over it and then put the bolt in so it doesn't catch the table and it should start carving right about here come on up I'm all ready for the other side but, man that came out nice take a nice top view of her oh yeah sweet oh well I never really worry about that hit that with the belt sander and she looks good the other side of this is all done with the belt sander these days or one of them angle sanders with 80 grit or 40 grit on her I'm loving it take care have a ball I'm Scott Brown green wind and other home energies results for the second side <laughs> anyway looky here that's some pretty stuff there. Maybe if I shade it a little more, be able to see it better. Maybe it's this one. If I knock this one out. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, all that's fine. All the stuff down here is fine. Got a few little bit over here. I don't think much got there, but basically, yeah, it's a lot better uh, condition of sawdust. Not too much of the long, long pieces in there. Yeah, this is all that's nice got a little bit along in there let's see what it looked like before pull that bottom stuff up yeah there's a lot in there look at that just for a better view from this oh, yeah, I got tools under there look at that <laughs> From all of that garbage right there, from that to this. What a difference in the wood. Good quality wood cuts better, looks nicer. This came out real nice. Here, let me remove the tray here. There we are. Oh, that was easy yeah a lot nicer I'm gonna get all this off the, the board without getting some splinters in here <coughs> oh yeah that worked nice haha -ha. aim the lights out over this way it really looks a lot nicer and I can see all the shiny in this a few spots looking good yeah some of that's just some of the reflective wood grain but man that's smooth and that's I don't feel splinters up here. I don't feel nothing. That's nice and smooth. I can move my hand back with not even caring. Maybe the edge is a little bit and over here. Man, that came out real nice. Only one knot on this side right there. And one here. This one seems to stay full. That itty bitty one. So that's not too bad. That's going to look beautiful. That's going to look beautiful when it's done. Anyway, that's this side of everything. Small hub. <laughs> anyway from where this stop is and allows the table to come over puts the saw blade here and that measures the same on both times that I put this one bolt in the same hole so there we go I'm Scott Brown green wind and other home energies many good things to you and yours looks like I'm low on battery here I'm gonna have to charge up so I have to say goodbye now Maybe I'll knock out the other side with the belt sander and show you how that uh, goes there if I get a little bit more charge on here. Keep smiling, have a ball. God bless. All right, well, showed you how to use light to see what your eyes can't see. As I raise this light up, it reveals more and more of the twist because more and more of the twist actually becomes lit up. See? Nice even twist all the way down. I raise the light up, raise the light down, up, down. I'm not moving it left to right. I'm just going like this. See? Up. See how you see that twist? Look how smooth it is. If it had ripples in it, those ripples would show because the light is shining this way. So, 
Yeah, got a little ripple up here. Not bad. That part really to me doesn't matter. Let's look at the other side of this. Oh yeah. See how the shadow does the same as the light was doing before. Check it out. Move over to the right more. Raise it up. Bring her down. Yeah, I see a little bit right there that I'm not pleased with. Let's see. Let's get the light coming from the angle here. Bring it up. Bring it down. See how that slow twist comes in here? Looks like we've got a couple spots like right there if you look at it. Yeah, I could straighten that out. And all I did was sand the surface to get the rough off so it just to get the little uh, saw blade marks out. It didn't change anything. At least I don't think I did. I could be part of it, but yeah. Nice slow taper all the way down. Shoot ya. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind. And other home energies. Yeah, I like these LED lights. They're pretty sharp. You can see quite a ways. Not bad for three watts. Matter of fact, those little uh, Christmas bulb sized night lights that you plug in the wall, those are seven and a half watts. They don't put out near as much as this does. So anyway, get you some LED lights. Take care, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. There it is. Look at those. Not bad. Oh no, look, it's a UFO. <laughs> wow. Butter. <laughs> Take care. Keep smiling.